Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Today we are going to make some Paracord Christmas lights. Um, this is probably going to be pretty easy, it's just a little tedious. Um, so what I've done already, I've done this ahead of time, is I've cut five colors. Uh, we got blue, actually this is, uh, what is that, colonial blue, yellow, red, neon green, orange and purple and I have four sections of each color each section is about 20 inches maybe 18 inches um, that's all you're going to need for each light each light um, and then I have the hunter green that's going to end up being our uh, our string for the lights this will come in at the very end so the first thing we're going to do so I have one two three four one two three four I have six colors, four strands of each color for a total of 24. And we're going to do this. I've already done up a couple because I wanted to test out how I was going to do this. We're going to tie a bunch of these. And what this is, this is basically just a Solomon. Um, let see if I can focus in on that. It's just a Solomon with a little loop at the end. And that's where our hunter green is going to pass through to make our light. We're going to need to cut these off here and here um, and seal those in. So the tools that are required today, you're going to need a good pair of scissors. You're going to need a smoothing tool or something similar, a lighter. And to make it easy at the end to string these through with the, the hunter green, you're going to need a fid. So those will all come in a little bit later. Um, but let's get started on the lights first. These are pretty easy to do, and I came up with a pretty decent way to do it. Oh, you're also going to need a AAA battery. This AAA battery is going to come in very handy. Um, so let's get started. And this is all for my scrap box. I have a box. Uh, it's about a 12, 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch box, just full of scraps. So I had all kinds of colors in there. I had everything I needed for this, except for the Hunter Green. Um, to make this. So the first thing you want to do is on each cord here you want to find the center point so you're going to put your two ends together and then get this loop right here. Now this loop is going to be the same loop that we... well I gotta make this a little lighter. There we go. The same loop that you're going to string your, your uh, hunter green or similar color through. Um, so once you get this loop we got some this is old cord. I don't carry this cord anymore, but it's got a lot of lumps in it. Um, so once you find that center point, you're going to take your right cord. I'll get this out of the way for a second. Take your right cord, pass it over the center strands, the two center strands here. And then take your left cord, pull it over top of that last one, over, over top of this cord, like that. Take it behind the back and then bring it up through this loop on the right. You're going to pull that tight. And this is what the battery is for. Because we want these to be uniform. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? Alright, so we're going to pull this tight. And then you're going to take your battery and put it in that loop so that when you pull these too tight, it can be kind of tricky at first to get used to this. When you pull these tight, this loop that's going around this battery is the perfect size that you need. So go ahead and pull it, pull it tight, and now you have your loop that you're going to, to weave around. Okay, just like that. And now we're just going to do two Solomon passes. So we take the cord that came over the top of our two center strands here. And we're going to use that same cord to go over the top again. So that's the left cord. Comes over the top, creating a loop on the left. Take your right cord over top. And then behind everything, and up through the loop. And you want to make sure that this loop here doesn't come down through the bottom. Come off the bottom. And then cinch it up. Cinch it up toward the top. And pull this as tight as you can. There you go. And we'll do one more, starting now on the right side. So the cord that came over the top is going to come over the top again, 
creating a loop on the right. Cross your left cord over that one. Go around the back and up through. And pull tight. And make sure that these cords don't come off the bottom because you need that loop at the end. And pull it tight. And then you can set this aside. These, these should look just like this one. And by using that battery, you're going to stay nice and uniform throughout the whole process. So I got all the orange done, so let's move to the purple. So we got our center point right here. Create a loop on the right. It look, looks like blue on the camera, um, but it's purple, acid purple. So you're going to create a loop on the right, pass over top of the two center strands, kind of pinch everything together. The loop on the left comes down, it goes over that last cord, around the back, through the loop on the right. Just like that. Tighten this up a little bit. I like to hold the, the battery in my fingers like this. That way I can still use my pointer finger and my thumb. I, I suppose you could probably use a pen too, like a Bic. Just a standard size pen would probably work just as, as well. Maybe you need to keep it a little bit looser or a little bit more loose. That should be good. You're only looking for maybe, what is that, about half inch to three quarters of an inch long piece right here. Not very long at all. Now I saw another tutorial on how to do these using a different type of cord. And uh, it, it looks like it would take a lot longer than this this way. Alright, so to do the Solomon again, sorry I skipped that step right there. Take the cord that went over the top last time, and that, that one's always going to go over the top. So now it's on the right side, so we'll create a loop on the right. Take our left cord over that cord, behind everything, and bring it up through the loop on the right. Tighten it down. Now, and I'm pulling really tight. This, this is a pretty solid, pretty solid now. Just make sure you have a little bit of a loop at the end so that we can get our cord through there at the end. Alright, I'll do a couple more here. Got a lot of these to do. Two ends together. Pull it through to get that loop at the end. The right cord, create a loop on the right. Left cord over top of that cord. Behind the back. And up through the loop on the right. Pull that tight a little bit. Put that loop around the battery or pen, whichever. Pull this tight. It looks like I got a little bit of a twist in this cord. So I'm just going to try and figure out where it's coming from. See if we can't untwist it. Maybe that way. That should be okay, actually. And we'll get this a little more tight. There we go. That should be alright. All right. Now we look at this, and we have the right or the uh, the left cord that came over the top last time. Start there. Create the loop on the left. Cross over the two center strands. Right cord over top of that one. Behind the two center strands, and up through the loop on the left. And go ahead and pull that tight. We'll do it one more time. Now we're starting with the right cord because that's the one that came over top. Create that loop on the right, cross over, go around the back, and up through. Alright, and then pull that tight, make sure you have an, a small loop just like that at the end. These should all look the same because I, I use the same battery on all of these. So you should have something, you know, starting to look like this here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these all finished, and I'll show you how to get these finished so that we can start stringing them on our green paracord. Alright, so as you can see I have all of my pieces cut um, already and I've already strung up a few of them on the green just to make sure that they would work and these are in the order that they're on there. Um, 
So I wanted to show you how to finish this up. And it's real easy. You're just going to cut these cords right at the, pretty much right at the base of where they're at. So we'll cut this guy off here. Like that. Well, let me do this off camera so I don't get these fibers everywhere. There we go. So we'll do that and that. You can get yourself a decent lighter. And as soon as you start seeing this melt, that's when you want to grab your smoothing tool and press it in there. Because you don't want this to turn black on you. It'll kind of ruin it. See these here? These are nice and orange or white. They haven't burned. Like like that can happen if you leave the, the heat on there too long. Now the purple is going to look black anyway just because it's a darker color. But like I said, as soon as you start seeing it to melt to where it can fuse to the, the surrounding cord, go ahead and get that done. Now that these are done, um, that was actually an extra one. I don't need that. So what I have here, and it's kind of tangled in let me grab this here. I'm just going to measure this real quick. See how many feet we have. But I've got about 14 feet for 24 of these. So here's my here's my green. And I've already strung some of these on here. So what's going to happen is you'll get all these on here and then you'll space them out. And these have enough tension in the cord to, to hold on to this green without fear of them you know, sliding down. See if I go like this straight up and down, they don't move. Um, I'm going to stick to the same pattern. You don't have to do that, um, but you can. That's why I laid them out in this order. And they're real easy to string on. You just grab one of them with a fid, go through the hole there. They're going to be a little tight, but they loosen up once they hit the cord. I thought this was going to take a little, little longer than it actually did. Um, I got through this in less than an hour, so I'm probably... I don't know, 40 minutes into it. I've done bracelets that take a lot longer than this by far. Um, this one's really tight. Maybe go through the other side. Oh, I was poking into the paracord, that's why. But yeah, um, once you get these strung up, it's really up to you how far apart you want to put them. Um, maybe figure out... I don't know, I'm going to put these probably seven, eight inches apart, these lights, or these lights. Um, I guess you could measure where where the string of lights is going to go, and then figure out how many of these lights you're going to do. And you don't have to stick to these colors. I thought these were the most, I looked at a bunch of lights online to see what the most popular colors of string lights were, and these seem to match you know, the Christmas lights that were online for the most part. So I'm not going to string all these up on uh, on this video, but I do want to get to a point where, you know, you can space these out a little bit. I'll back this up a little too so you can see what I'm doing here. But yeah, I think if you space them out about like that, then, then they look good. And these center strands turn. So once you get them on this cord, grab the cord like this and give this a twist so that these are sitting on there sideways like that. That'll make them look a lot nicer. So like that, and then just give it a twist. And they'll sit on there just like that. But there you go. I, I, I hope you really like this. I know it's a lot faster than the other method that's out there. Um, so just use up your scraps and make some uh, paracord lights. I uh, hope you like this. Don't forget to check out our website for all of the stuff you see in this video. BoardParacord.com And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to do a video every week. And we also have a Facebook group of Paracord enthusiasts. It's called Paracord On. It's Facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord On. And until next time, Paracord On. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.